and um, you know, over the over the time, you know, I've had my ups and downs and trials and tribulations. I've been bankrupt a few times in the last. I was going to say, how, how, what, how, how do you handle major setbacks? You know, let's say you've been pushing at something, so and it should have been pushing back. You know, you're talking about a bankruptcy. You're talking about other things. How, how do you handle? You know, give, give us an example and, and and how you've handled it a major setback because that that, that would. <laughs> clearly I can see it just from talking to you it's fire you know you whatever's coming at you something could absolutely wipe you out right now you're gonna get back up after it I can I can just just feel it yeah a lot a lot of people you know if something wipes them out it's, it's, it's the blame game oh yeah the recession wiped me out I mean this bit this the contraction that we're in right now this this coronavirus for example you know there's a lot of businesses out there worried it's probably gonna wipe some businesses out and and to avoid them kind of going down the blame room and oh yeah the world's now about to go and get a job doing this what how do you handle a major setback, you know, and, and how do you come back from that? Well, you know, growing, growing up, I lost my dad at 10. Um, oh, I was very driven at, you know, at 12, 13, 14. You know, when I was a kid, I was um, very good at BMX freestyle. And I was sponsored by, I was 13, I was sponsored by an American company called Skyway. So I was traveling all over the country, winning competitions and, you know, from until I was 17 years old. So I was always very driven. I've gone through a setback with my dad being died. So mentally, I'm a little bit damaged because I've had someone die very early in my life. Mm -hmm. And then um, I went off the rails a little bit when I was sort of 18, 19, 20, going out clubbing, getting on the, the gear, up party mm -hmm. much and all the rest of it. And uh, yeah. In my 30s, I would say in my 20s, I didn't do much. It was like on hold, just partying, just stupid stuff. And then um, that's when I had got, got in my first bankruptcy by just stupid, you know, getting uh, like an American Express card, thinking, oh, yeah, let's go shopping, blowing the whole lot in one go and just fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meant crazy stuff. Yeah. Crazy stuff. And then um, the second time I went bankrupt was... Uh, I had the car wash sites and I took out huge uh, loans on one site. And about two months later, there's a huge construction project open up next door and it just wiped us out because who's going to have their cars done in this site next door? So that wiped me out completely. And uh, that was bad because at the time uh, I was going through problems at home with the missus and that. And I was, I was very depressed, very hard, very depressed, but, when you've been self-employed all your life, you've got to keep going and going and going and going and going because no one's going to help you. Yeah. No one's. And, you know, then I, 16, 17 years ago, my daughter was born and that puts even more pressure on you, on you, doesn't it? And then we got married in 2005. Then the credit crunch came and I turned into a nasty bastard, you know, miserable, lost everything again. Uh, took it out on everyone around me. My missus divorced me at 2010. So yeah. I was then had uh, I had bankruptcies, deaths, divorce, lost everything on my own, very depressed. But I kept on going, and this is this is when I got into um, this is when new at the beginning of new, right at the very beginning of new. And um, and then I worked hard, started to build the business up trials and tribulations and then I won my wife back again so five years later we got back together again and we've been back together for the last five years so I won her back got my family back together united and then the last setback was three or four years ago um, my ex-business partner at our very peak we're doing 10 million pound projects five million down pound projects huge he decided to set a company up behind my back with our interior designer in the office wow. so for a year i never knew what was going on until i'm thinking why are we suffering why is all our cash flow suffering until the girl some people in the office saying nick we keep getting phone calls from this company looking for this company i said who's this got on the computer looked who it was it was him with this other girl set up so for wow. a good year before there was they were taking projects out of new and they were putting it into this secret company and that's when it kicked off. And that's when our relationship ended. He left the office, started his own company with this bird. I kept new going. I relaunched as uh, new projects. And that's when I started again, smashing it, hitting it hard, creating content, 
starting from back to basics. And that is that was three years ago. And now today we've got seven projects on the go. We've got seven projects in the pipeline. And it's still it's still moving up slowly, slowly. You know, the, we want to get into, you know, I've got a, a lovely collaboration starting soon with um, a Swedish interior design company. They're based uh, in, um, in London and in Sweden, but uh, this girl's very cool. She believes in what, I, what I'm doing. She knows that I can generate interest. And um, with her on board with us and us on board with them, that would be a perfect collaboration because you can't do everything on your own. And I need around me, I need like-minded entrepreneurial people. I don't want people coming to work with me and all they got is their hand out. I want people yeah. who bring something to the table and they love what they're going to do. Because I, as I said, I can't do it. I've got, I'm 50 years old. If someone walked into my life and said, Nick, I love what you're doing. We've already got a, a contract in business and um, maybe more collaborations. That's the key. More collaborations in different businesses. Yeah. Because I, I, I can bring different things to the table. Even if I, you know, you said to me, Nick, can I have some advice on my business? I say, I would probably give you cut 10 points instantly. And then you'll think, Jesus Christ. You know, so it's just the, all these trials and tribulations and failings I've had is just added to my knowledge of bringing different things to the table. So. Yeah. It's unbelievable to hear how many times you've kind of been knocked down and got back up. It's, it's like people have, I, I always think people have like a ceiling level where, where how high is your particular ceiling? You know, let's say, let's say you get the first setback, the first knockdown and you, you're a lot of people, you know, there's people at that stage who are like, Oh yeah, I'm, I'm just, that's me. I'm done. I can't, it's not for me. Or, or, or the second time, the second time that's your, that's how high your ceiling goes. Or, or maybe it's the third. I mean, you've just told me about what, between three and five situations where, not 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 set we're talking about like major put like something coming at you majorly completely just shuts off everything and and, and you're talking about we're talking about bankruptcies where you're just getting back up from it and then we look at where you're at now that, that's unbelievable it's an it's fresh to see a, a a demonstration of that kind of relentlessness that just it completely just takes you to the next level i think i think a lot of people um, can lack that and it's it's just kind of watching things like people watching things like this that seeing where maybe they've got something that's took them and, and they start oh my phone's ringing one second you still with me yeah give me one second I think I've lost you there are you there Nick yeah I'm here one second yeah I got you there um no I, I just think it's unbelievable when 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 I hear of people having setbacks, because a lot, when, when I do these things, I think um, it's great to hear somebody's got everything and they've done amazing, they've done that. But it, it, it's, I think a lot of people think that, <clears throat> okay, well, yeah, he must know them. He's probably knows them. He's probably got that, that money. He's, he's probably got that. When you hear it, when somebody's literally, the ball, they've, they've got a bad card. Clearly, you know, you've not been dealt the card for where you are. Some people have just sailed over to it. The card that you've been dealt does not reflect where you kind of are right now, does it? You know what I mean? No, no, it's, it's, still, it's, not, it's not easy. Nothing's easy now. You know, you've, you've got a family, you've got a nice house, you've got a couple of nice cars. You know, I'm still driving for success. You know, I'm nowhere near anywhere where I, I want to be. You know, I've, from, from 50 to 60, I need to stay fit, strong, and keep going for it. Because I can't keep going on going and going. I, you know, that, that's why I need to build the empire so someone can come along and join the team and help me take it to the next level. So we've got 10 years to smash it. As our mate Grant Cardone did, he never starts smashing it until he's 50 years old. Mm. Warren Buffett, same, same time frame. You know, so you know, you know, you're young, you can smash it for the next 20 years and who cares? You could lose it three yeah. or four times. 100%. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So failing, as you've, everyone's heard it a million times, you've got to be able to fail and recover. Because if you've no, never failed, you are going to be really hitting the, sh the shit soon. Because when it does to go tits, and that's why when it does go tits up for people, it affects them a lot mentally. Mm. Mentally. So, you know, my advice to anyone watching, just keep going. You, you cannot fail unless you, uh, you can, if you stop, you'll fail. If you keep going, you're never going to fail. Never give up. Never, 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 never give up. And obviously, I think everyone trying to launch a business in this market is perfect. 
you got your computer, you got your phone, you got your Instagram, you got your Facebook, you got your LinkedIn, you got your Twitter, you got your Snapchat, you got your TikTok. There you go, job done. Yeah. Job done. You can sell anything. I would go on. I, you know, I would love to be able to do drop shipping. You know, find a project in wherever. Not even hold a product. Do the marketing. Do Facebook ads and sell something you don't even hold. You collect the money. So if I'm buying, if I'm selling these candles for three pound ninety nine, but I can get them somewhere in the world for fifty pence, the order comes in to me, I get the money, the, 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 the three quid, and then I pay for delivery. So the drop shipper sends directly to the client. Yeah. That's how you do it. That's the, the people sitting at home now, find a product, product and do, learn drop shipping. Watch 20 videos on YouTube, how to drop ship. But make people are lazy. They, don't, they can't be asked. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to do this. I want to get people that are watching the Netflix, watching the this wasting hours of the day, and, and it's a I think it's a very pretty if this thing goes on for weeks, months, it's a productive time to begin everything, you know, whether whether that be kind of training in the in the in the field or sector that you want to get into, so that literally when the day that it goes this goes back to normal, you've got everything good to go and launch. You know, I, mean? I was watching uh, on YouTube, Romans, you know, the Romans cast. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. They got a brilliant little YouTube channel. So I think you should do that. Each car yeah. comes in, get it validated so it's absolutely beautiful, and then talk through every single thing about that car. Yeah. You know, you could go down and now on your own with your ca camera, just get a tripod, set it up, and get get it. You know, go, go on Amazon, get get a mic, get yourself mic'd up so the audio is clear, and um, do different things on the car, and then and launch it and put it on it and put it on Facebook and share it and you know little Instagram ads. Of course, yeah, yeah, I love it. Because there's th those those videos that they do are very very slick. And the guy who presents, I don't know who he is. He may be just a, an, an employee. He might he may be one of the sons. He may be one of the partners. I have no idea. But he's good. Mm. You know, you, and I, you know. Even yesterday, I watched a load of them on YouTube yesterday, and it just and it's in, about the new Ferrari or the new nine eleven Turbo S. 150 k I've had a Turbo S before, you know, and the amazing car, and I would love to get another one. So I'm, I'm watching it because I'm motivating myself, saying, "How the hell am I going to get one of them again?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. You know, how can I get it? You know, I don't want to yeah. blow all my money on cars because I've, I've, I've sunk thousands on cars and lost thousands and thousands. Of but it's, you know, it's. It makes me, I love, you know, I'm a little bit materialistic, but materialistic things are things that drive you forward. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think it wakes you up, doesn't it? It's, it's, a, it's not so much, it's, it's a motivation factor, isn't it, really? That's exactly. all it really is. So, uh, look, Nick, I appreciate you doing this. I think, um, I think I'm think i taking a lot from this massively. I think anyone watching this will do massively, and maybe we'll do this again sometime soon. Um, but, yeah, thanks so, for opening up. I think, um, I think yeah, I've taken a lot more than I, I, I kind of thought. So, uh, so yeah, all good, Nick. We'll keep watching your content. I'll uh, I'll put your social media hashtag and everything on this for you. But yeah, appreciate it. All right. No problem. We have a good day. And you, Nick, top man. I'll see, see you soon. Thank bye you. Bye bye.